All right, here we go. One thing that I do want to say actually is, I think I've already brought this up to you, but um, for your camera settings, you might want to change your camera settings. One thing, one really good video to watch is Cronovi's camera settings video. If you don't know what um, camera settings you want to go with, but anyways. Good job getting a 50 on that. Teammate had a um, good job getting it past them. Um, you want to be careful here. You did see your teammate there. Try to go for the ball. Uh, you just wanted the boost. That's good. Touch by him, it's your teammate. Oh, they did double commit. Eels probably shouldn't have touched that again. Um, one thing that you do want to do actually is go all the way back and turn in goal. So you're going to want to turn like here instead of um, turning like where you did, which was like close, but not all the way. What is this? Hello? Is this just gonna break? That's cool too. Okay. So you did sort of get scored on just because you didn't do that. Um. So here, you didn't turn all the way into goal and your teammates hit it like they both you saw that they both went into it so you're going to want to turn into goal first that's number one you saw both your teammates go for it so you can't really push up anymore because that guy right there is probably going to have the boomer the guy who hits the ball that guy i'm faking is probably going to get a boomer and so this is like not a bad it's pretty bad of a situation even though you got a decent aerial touch, um, Jelly Trousers and Eels are both like not going to get back. Because I'm pretty sure Jelly Trousers is low on boost. And Eels is 100%. He turned around to get the ball. And he's not going to hit this ball. And then, um, so yeah, Jelly has like barely any boost. He didn't go for the right boost, which he probably should have. So now he's just like stuck in goal with no boost. So you're going to want to be more defensive, especially like at the start of the game. So it's only like 50 seconds in. You don't know how good your teammates are. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, beautiful. Once again, be careful on pushing up so much. You're really close to the play. Both of your teammates are out. You got to be more defensive. So yeah, you didn't really do anything for this goal actually, like both your teammates were the person, like Jelly turned around on this and got a good shot, but you were just like there. And you put more risk into um, anything and didn't really help to get the goal, so. Good job getting um, good. So right here, first touch, good job um, taking your time. Since you saw three of them, no one was close to the ball. Good job. Um, you took it. You got a good 50, which is really good. And you ended up getting a goal for it since Keg messed up. Good play from you. Wait, still pushed up a little bit more, a little bit too much in my opinion. It was good shots, despite that. Good job, 15, or I'm um, taking that. Okay. It was a good center, but nobody was there, but it's still fine. It was still a good center. 
everybody, your teammates are back, so there's nothing to worry about. Stay here for like a bit. That's what I would do. It's, but you do see Ills, who is probably going to go back on defense since he's in the air without any boost. There you go. He got beat, but said Eels is probably going to be back there. Still might not. Like, sometimes risks like that might just be ones that you don't want to take. Like, you're not that desperate for any goals. You're up by one, so there's no need to be that desperate for a goal. So... You sort of followed the ball a bit too much there. Like, you see Jelly jump for this? Just leave it for him. He has it. Just trust that he has it and leave it for him. So instead, you, like, drove towards the ball. Now you're under the ball. And so just think if, um, if somebody was, like, right here. Like, if Keg was right here, you wouldn't have saw him. Your ball cam. And so all you see is up. Well, this guy could be beating you to the ball right now. And Eels, he doesn't look in that promising of a uh, position to save the ball here. Got a dribble. Got a F50. Good boomer. You might want to slow down there and just grab the boost. Like, right here. You're low on boost. Instead of flipping here, I just like drive over to the right a bit and grab the boost since you're really low on boost. So now you're just like behind and you missed that boost too and you had to go back and you just wasted a bit of time for no reason. Careful hesitating like that though. He had a lot of hesitation right here. You wanted to go for the ball, you didn't go for the ball. He got lucky that he just hit it right into you. Probably gonna want to flip into a challenge like this. Just be more aware of where everybody is. Instead of trying to hit the ball, you should probably try to hit faking, like bump him. That might have been what you're trying to do, but. you to you to you okay right here you see that eels pushed up on the ball this is his fault he probably shouldn't have been pushing up on the ball right here and you what you see here is keg can probably get this over eels so you're gonna want to go on defense like quick to defense that you see this happen and see how we lost that and instead of going for defense you sort of like followed the ball a bit still you're still just hovering over the ball so go straight right here instead of going like towards the ball, just go straight back into net. And right here, see how you're like on the wrong side of the ball? Like you'd be on the side of the ball to score the ball instead of saving for the most part. And so what you're gonna wanna do is like go straight into goal so you have a better hit. And I'll see if I can put that on screen. That sucks. That could have been a goal. So here, that's a really dangerous thing to go for unless you know you can hit it. Like, I wouldn't risk that unless you knew 100% that you could hit it. Or a really good percent that you could hit it because they could have easily scored that. And if I were Jelly, I would have aerialed for that too because I wouldn't have trusted you. That was a good attempt. Just a mechanics thing. Get it sooner or later. There you go. It's a good pass. Um, instead of like hovering here, instead of hovering here, you sort of hover here and you're just waiting for what to happen. Like, you just gotta go straight back to net because this is not really a good position. All three of you are on their side, and um, Keg's about to hit the ball down to your side. See? So here, you're sort of in a weird position. You backflip here into the ball, which is usually not gonna work. Like, you got a little lucky because if he aerialed here, he would have got that over your head. 
So you, you got a little lucky there. With the 50. Just leave that for your teammates. Just turn and goal right here is what I'd do. You can't go for it. Both your teammates are up. Just try to um, hover around pass on your side. Let's see, you went up for it. Even though this would probably be your hit, like I said, you don't really know your teammates. They're just going to have to play defensive, like a little bit more defensive than you probably um, would and should. So you ended up um, being in a terrible position because if you hit that correctly, you guys could have got scored on there too. You got a, a demo. I don't know if that was um, on purpose, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it will turn into net. That's also a reason I would turn into net. It's because you don't know how your teammates are going to challenge. The challenge probably should have been yours, but Jelly turned on it for some reason. So that's why I turned into net and just like wait a bit. And so now you're in a really awkward position. The ball is behind you. And yeah, it's just an awkward position. Hit it over there. It's pretty good attempt at a pass. You want to be careful going for boost here because the balls. You guys are still on defense, and you guys are struggling here. You don't know how Jelly's doing. I don't know if he has boost. He is a, little, is a little messed up, so right here you went for boost. It's not even there, so. That goal could have been saved, or it could have not been possible to save, but you never know. Good job from Jelly. Beautiful shot by Eels. Guessing you're letting him go. Yep. So you really hesitated here. That was a hard hesitation. So right here, you can either stop like here Turn into gold a bit more and stop here and wait for the ball to come to you or you can just straight go for it. And so you sort of did in between. So now you're in between where you would have the momentum to catch him on the ball and where you're not far enough back to um, block the ball. So you got a little lucky that he lost control of the ball. You let him hit the ball a little bit away from you, but... Guessing that's just a, um, just a little bit of a mechanics at time thing. This is really just mostly um, Jelly's like fault because he hesitated too, pretty hard here. So right here, he's just like, "Hey, I should go for this ball," and then he stopped boosting. It's like Eels is there, and then it's just too late. Got to make a decision and then end up going with it. Mechanics problem, you'll get that down sooner or later. Oh wow. So there, that was just a bad, bad aerial. Cause the ball hit the ceiling. I don't think you thought the ball was gonna hit the ceiling, but it did. And so now you're in a bad position, but you still decide to go for the ball anyways. Like there's no need to go for this ball cause after you jump like this, you're not going to hit the ball. There's already four people, your teammate, and then the whole other team who could possibly hit this ball before you. So that's really bad. You're going to want to not commit that hard to something like that. Let's see. You got, um, it was a good, that was a good challenge though. Be careful. You're going to want to get that off the wall. It was a good attempt. Can't accept problem get those at time uh, beautiful touch from him so here you sort of hesitated I guess yeah you hesitated a bit and I don't know this one's a sort of a hard call because 
I don't know. Faking just went full for it. I don't know if this one's really iffy for me. If he should have just like stayed back or straight challenged it. Because this might be a mistake that I would make. But I would have challenged that. And you just got like... um, You got like a bad challenge off the ball too. So right here, you hit the ball. He hit the ball and then you sort of hit it to the side into him. So, you know, the ball's going the direction that he wants, and that's, like, the worst thing that you can do. And if you want to, like, 50, you want to either get it past them or um, stop it from going the way that they want the ball to go the way. Or the English. <laughs> so you guys ended up getting scored on because of that, which kind of sucks, but... So, I would say that you're just, like, a bit too um, aggressive. Like, instead of being a defensive at some points, you're just a bit too aggressive. Like, you need to rotate all the way back into goal and not, like, cheat up as much because you never really know, like, what's going to happen. And you just, like, sort of trusting your teammates a bit too much. And so that's what's getting, um, stopping you from getting goals and, um, getting you scored on some of the time like you saw from analysis so that's probably the biggest thing i'd say for you just a little bit of um mechanics thing too you made a few mechanics mistakes but that'll come in time just like right like i'm doing right now just be in training hit the ball around practice hitting the ball and you'll get it so thank you guys for watching um more replays soon um hopefully to do the champs three game two which is would be really nice so see you guys then